Hey guys, Butterose here. Um, today I'll be showing something a little bit new. Uh, if you guys watch my other videos, you know that I like to play combat arms. But uh, this video will be showing you um, how I get NX and how you can try to get NX too. So right now I'll show you the amount of NX I have received from Maple Story. If you don't know what Maple Story is, it's Next not uh, Nexon's first published game, and it is extremely popular. So if you don't, if you already don't know, if you don't already know what this is, this is called the Maple Trade System. Here you can auction off your items or just sell them to other people for NX cash. Uh, the dates here go as far as March 6 of 09. Uh, I had much other. Uh, I had another account, which made a lot of NX too. So, here is the items I sold, and this is the amount of NX I received. So, I'll just scroll through this for about a minute, so you guys have a good idea about how much NX I've received. Some people might have wondered after watching my first Combat Arms video that I had about four permanent guns and I just want to say I did not use any of my own money to go out and buy those guns. I also have five other permanent guns under another account that I let my friend use. See right here 42,000 KNX. Oh my bad, 42 KNX. Wow, 42,000 would be kind of out of hand. Uh, here, uh, today I won't be showing you, like, how to randomly get an item like this and sell it for 42k and X. I'll be showing you some other stuff. Uh, if you don't have a combat, a Maple Story account already, this guide may not be for you. Because I'll just be showing you something that, um, you can do to get an X. Okay, so about here you can notice that I've I have countless work gloves. Uh in my opinion work gloves are the best for selling for NX. And most recently so right up to here, yep. So you see I have a ten sorry about that. I have a ten attack work glove here, which was sold for six about seven thousand NX. Uh I bought this for roughly three hundred mil. And here I have an 8 attack work glove, which I bought for 60 mil. You see, since I bought it for less, it obviously sells for less. But if you do the math, uh, since I bought, bought this for 60 mil, if I wanted to have the same price as 300 mil, you just multiply it by 5. So 1800 multiplied by 5 is 9000 NX. So for the same price, if, if I were to buy 5 of these, I could make 2000 more NX. So, I just want to go over things, like, you should always, you shouldn't always buy the biggest item, because, sometimes, because, the, uh, the economy in Maple Star is a bit off, because all the item duplicators, uh, you want to go for the best converting item. You see now, um, maybe in the next year, if you're watching this, you might notice that, um, the prices may have changed and whether or not the prices have changed it doesn't change the fact that all items are converted to the same will not convert to the same price for example uh... Just let me find it see that's an 8 attack work glove two years ago they cost a lot more but the nx rate's gone up and you see i used to buy a lot of 10 attack work gloves and sell them because they converted the best it was about 100 mil for 12k and X. It was a really good deal. And you see here. Well, it was about 10k and X, but taxes price. I mean, price is tax, my bad. I'll show an example right now. Uh, so let me get one of these out. So I said these were 1800 NX, but in reality, if you were to 
take the taxed amount, people will be paying this much for the item while you only receive 1800 So let me just throw these in there. Alright, so I guess I'll go over, not really go, I'll show you some other stuff that I have. Um, I started playing Maple Story before. Whoops, let's screen minimize for a second. Whoa. Uh, there's a little bit of bug, guys. Sorry about this. I'll probably have to turn off wraps right now. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, my client crashed again for some reason. I guess wraps is acting up. Uh, what was I going to show you? Right, I was going to show you some more annex items, I guess. Uh, these are all permanent NX items. I've got about 20 of them separated between my accounts. Uh, yeah, I spent about 200,000 NX on all of them in total. Um, I started playing MapleStory about six years ago. Um, in that time I've been hacked three times and permanently banned once. It's unfortunate, but it's my fault, I guess. I used my brother's account without knowing he put the information into a phishing site. And I was banned because I was being stupid. And I downloaded hacks, which you should never do. Never download hacks, guys. Um, yeah, okay, I'll go over getting... I'll go over... Bleh. Um, I'll talk about how to keep a steady finance in this game. So what I said before about buying items and selling selling them for NX is great in a perfect world, but if you keep doing that, you have to have some sort of steady profit in this game. So what you can do is, uh, right now I'm in the free market. This is the most. This is where everybody comes to to uh, spam about selling other stuff. And as you can see, there's a lot of people, as I said, selling stuff. Uh, what you can do is not be like this botter right here. Don't be like him. Uh, just gotta find an example of someone. Try channel 2. Okay. One, you can be like this guy. You can be the guy who stands in the free market for five hours and just spams. He spams. That's all he does. And then trade him, like show an example. And then he spams like this because he's actually botting. And then you show him an item. I actually don't have any good items on me. I guess I'll show him this. Uh, if he likes my item or if he actually wants it, I don't have any good items on me right now. He, oh, clearly he didn't like it, so he cancels because he's rude. Uh, I'll try to find someone who wants to buy scrolls. Ooh, one sec. That person's looking for a attack glove, which I have in here. Do, 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 do. I'm lagging. And I crashed. Wow. <coughs> I crashed again. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know what's wrong with my computer right now, but the show goes on. Uh, here's the person I was talking about, another person. So, these people spam in the free market for X amount of time. And she's not accepting my trade. One sec. Okay, it turns out she's botting, I'm guessing. Um, five scrolls. Alright, here, okay. So what these people do are is they spam about buying stuff and you show them your your items that they want and they tell you most of the time they'll tell you to name a price and if your price whether or not your price is too high or too low like a very good price they will swindle you out of your cash and they will try to buy your item for the lowest price possible um one sec, I'll tell them some random prices. Uh 
I don't plan on selling these things. Uh, these prices are actually really ridiculous, and you would not even try to swindle me because it's such a good deal. <coughs> so, they'll think of random excuses like, one sec, let me ask my friend. Can I talk to you later? And in that time, they'll just pretend to talk to their friend and say, wow, your prices are a bit a bit too high. Could I get it for a little bit lower? And what these people do is they buy your scrolls or your items, and then they resell it for a higher price. By doing this, they uh, you are guaranteed a steady profit, I guess, a steady finance. And if you keep this up, you can you'll be on your road to get a lot of NX like me. Uh, we'll just wait the duration of this trade out, I guess. See what he says. If you could type a bit faster. Wowzers. Right. So he's adding this up right now. Like a total champ. And he did a miscalculation right there. I think. I won't judge it. Uh, 10.5 mil, 20. Yeah, he definitely did do a miscalculation. So that's 5 mil, 6 mil, 11.5 mil, uh, 1.5 mil, 13 mil. Uh, it's right on. Okay, well, okay, well, he didn't try to swindle me because it's such a good price. I will cancel because I'm not stupid enough to do that trade. Hmm, another method you could do is scrolling. So, as you can see, these are scrolls, clearly. Uh, and if you get lucky, uh, here they show the percentage rate. So, say for example, let's see, this person is selling a glove for attack for 60% for 10 mil. Uh, let's see, a glove like this, without, if it's not scrolled, it costs about, wow, guys, three crashes in a row. Lucky me. Um, Alright, so I want to go over really quickly so I don't crash again. The scrolling. So, say for example, I had a... 60% glove for attack. That means at a 60% rate, uh, my glove will have an enhanced two attack at a cost of one slot. So each item has number of upgrades available. This has zero because I've already used all the slots. But something like this has seven slots. This glove, when uh, it is clean, which means no none of the slots are used, it has five. So say for example. I use 5 gloves for attack for 6% and they all work. I don't know the probability of that happening, but if indeed that does happen, you will have a gigantic profit of 250 mil and well you can sell the glove for 300 mil, but since you paid 50 mil for all the scrolls for 10 mil each, you will uh, you have had made 250 mil profit and with 250 mil you can begin to merchant more items I'd say and like for example you could try to get a 10 attack work glove off someone for 250 mil and resell it for 300 mil so with more money you can buy bigger items and resell them for a bigger price meaning larger profit or what you could do is you could buy four or however many I usually buy them for 60 mil each you could buy f four 8 attack work gloves and make roughly 6k NX in profit or 7k? Yeah, 7 Well guys, uh, I'm really at a loss of words for these crashes. And we're nearing the 15 minute mark, so I just wanted to close this video saying, I hope you got something out of the video. Um, I hope that you look forward to our next videos too. And that's about it. See you guys next time.